happy new year to you and yours i hope you made it all nice and safe hey we were running out of food so this morning we just woke up and we we're like we need to go refill on food and anything grocery that we need to buckle up for the 150 days of january good lord knows it's only the 8th and by the time we get to the 31st i think it will be day 200 at that point we still got a bit of groceries from december but you know our food runs out quick so a bit of the lamb a bit of some stuff but a lot of the things that we need to refill the boring things like veg and all of that is still here so i'm gonna start with the meat section so the meat section we went to table view butchery and then when we went to west coast village then we passed through pep and then to woolworth so i'm just going to show you what's in this bag it's just chicken it's just meat like a ton of meat okay i'm just trying to take it out of the plastic but anyways you get the gist of it all right so we bought some quarter quarter chicken legs how do you call that quarter chicken legs yeah we bought some quarter chicken legs like a five kilograms it's just quarters of that and it lasts us for a month or even more adding on the lamb and all the other meats and the roast that we haven't made yet it's gonna be like okay i love the butchery the, the butchery meats and the cuts they are much bigger i try to like calculate to see like if i get the ones on woolies and all that but woolies doesn't have like the big chicken quarters like they did with their lamb pack because i saw the lamb pack at the table view butchery is the same price so that's why we bought it there last time right now we're going to move on to the bag from woolworths bag number one so we managed to buy some baby spinach i missed having some baby spinach and they had like a special i think for a two for a minus ten something along those lines on like single leaf uh, kind of veggies and all that stuff so i managed to also buy some baby spinach tender i love to put it like on on food fresh like that salads that kind of thing and yeah it is really hot so salad season is definitely in and then one of the other ones like i was telling you they have specials buy two for 25 so i just decided to buy like different leaf salads to make it interesting i love me some wild rocket or well, if you call it a regular whatever that you want to call it i love me some rocket it's nice and refreshing i don't know the taste is kind of it depends if you like salads are salads what can i say they're just leaves okay uh the next thing that we managed to buy was some colore <laughs> some colore peppers basically like the red and the orange just to bring like a nice little touch to your food and everything i love peppers i love having them like that and i also love them cooked in my stews and everything like that so yeah they bring nice color to food that you need almost like carrots which are next by the way and we also managed to buy some large carrots crispy and sweet i love to just grate them and sometimes just to use like a peeler and then have like those nice strips or just chop them up and then throw them in your best shoe next we have some carrots around oh the way my stomach is is grumbling i haven't had anything right now it's like one o'clock so i need to make breakfast we left at about 12 ish so spent like an hour at the shops oh here we managed to buy some macadamia nut butter let me just like open this one Ooh. Mm, it smells good it smells good it smells really good let me just grab a spoon it's like a pasty kind of a butter it can be runny depending if it's really hot then it gets runny and everything else oh man let me ask taste it. Mm. oh you want to taste it mm -hmm. let me know what you think mm. Mm. it's got that macadamia yeah too. i know you love the macadamia nuts. Mm. Oh, mm. it's our so awesome. smooth and right? macadamia flavored. Wow. Oh my god. It, if you love macadamia nuts, it and it gets an A plus from hubby. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Next thing that we bought, oh my god, it tastes so nice. My stomach keeps rumbling, okay? My stomach keeps rumbling. The next thing that we bought is the Handy Andy, the cream lavender for the oven my gosh i really needed this because the oven is getting really grimy and whatever that i'm using is not really working so i just thought you know what let's do handy andy and see what happens next thing that we bought was some button mushrooms breakfast we are just talking breakfast right now like i love mushrooms in any way or form i even have them raw so yes sumi <laughs> i love some mushrooms they were the cut ones but 
I'm trying to show up in my knife skills, you know, as a home cook, you need to, you know, have some good knife skills. So everything that I'm trying to get is mostly like unchopped, then I will chop it myself. And, you know, I'm learning how to, you know, get good with the knife skills. This sauce, listen, this sauce is heaven, especially on meat, on roasts, salads. It's, it just adds that sweetness. I even add it to my stews and it just adds that little sweetness that you definitely need. We had to get like the big boy, the 470 grams. I think the other one we got last time was smaller than this. Next thing that we bought uh, was some double cream yogurt. You know, we really have to have some yogurt. I, I tried low fat and all that other stuff, but we always come back to the double cream. I found there is not much of a, of a difference in my books unless you're lactose intolerant then there is a huge difference of which i'm not as far as i know <laughs> i still need to go and get tested for that so yeah if i am then i will come and let you know after i get tested if i am and then we managed to get a refill of the dishwash dishwash liquid zesty lime okay it's hella zesty i get it <laughs> so we're gonna refill and do that how much was the refill? It's like a 750 refill, so it will work with the bottle that I have. Ooh, okay, let's move on to bag number two. We are going into more green territory. Why is this bag even more heavy? Yes. So we managed to buy like an Italian salad mix. It has like a mix of all types of greens that you can think of. Nice and colorful, so refreshing. And it depends what is there within season. This is what they will put in there. But I can recognize there's it's a bit of arugula in there. And then there is the butter lettuce. And yeah, there's like a mix in there. And I just love it. We had to get some avocados. My husband loves avocados in like everything. And we just, when it comes to food, we communicate the same language most of the time. So the ripen at home avos, I think they work better because the ones that are ripe, if you get like a four pack, it will go off really quickly. And you know, you don't want to like eat a lot of avocados all at once. You just want a little bit as you go. So I'll probably put them with bananas or something or in, just leave them out because it's really hot. Like it's been getting to like degrees of like 30 degrees here in Cape Town. I don't know what the summer wants us to do. I really don't know. Also, I managed to buy some cherry tomatoes. Oh man, there were different types of tomatoes, like the exotic ones, the cherry, the rosa. But I really want the cherry tomatoes, especially for my breakfast. Be on the lookout for that. I think I will do like a what I eat in a day or check out my reels and shorts on Instagram. Your girl is back on Instagram, okay? So, you know, show some love, okay? I managed to also buy some English cucumber. Uh, this works for a lot of things, for your water, for salads, anything. Like, you just have to have some cucumber. And I'm sure this is going to be done in like a couple of days. That's how much I love cucumber. Next thing that we bought was some brown onion. I, 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 I just need onion. Onion just adds flavor to like everything. It's such a staple to have. Such a staple to have. Next thing that we bought, two cabbages. Last time I got adventurous and we got two cabbages. And yo, they almost got, they almost went off. Jeez, please don't tell me this one is off. Okay, no, it's not. It's good. So we bought the baby red cabbage and then the bigger cabbage. So with the cabbage, it's either I make like a slow kind of mix or I will use it as a side for pap. Like, yeah, it will definitely work out for that. So the two cabbages are out there. Oh man, did I miss feta? Oh, I miss feta so much. I miss feta so much. So we bought some South African feta cheese, the crumbly version. It's like crumbly and a bit hard because we usually get like the soft one, but you can't really crumble it over the food and everything like that. So yeah, I managed to buy some crumbly feta. I haven't had feta in a minute, so I'm excited. Let's move on to the next bag. Okay. All right, let's fly through this one. I see why it's heavy. There's a lot of heavy things in there. I have been loving the white kidney beans what people call them lima beans something along those lines i love them because a little literally goes a long way i have some that are left over from last night that i'm still gonna have i love them they expand and just make your meals look so interesting they taste amazing they are so buttery they are just amazing i am such a huge fan like i know we have a mixture of like black beans and the white beans they are amazing it's black it's white <laughs> and uh, you know 
you just gotta have some butter chicken curry i love having butter chicken curry like this this is like a good blend of everything that you'll be looking for in one little pack like it does it well i marinate all my meat i don't care i know it's butter chicken curry but it works for the lamb it works for everything else like it just it definitely just works and we also bought some milk for my oats and probably smoothies but i'm just betting on oats because i've been making a lot of oats like the stovetop oats i've been doing it for me no lies there and yeah this bag is basically about the oats and we also managed to buy some local seasonal honey i've been loving the blue gum flavor of the raw honeys and everything else i don't know it just adds like a nice like a nice flavor to the honey i'm really been enjoying it this is like it's at 375 grams so it's gonna last the other one that we got because i made like a dessert for christmas it didn't last for so long but without that then like close to a month give or take and decided to swap the oil i'm usually getting avocado oil but this time i decided to get grapeseed oil because the cooking version can use it for cooking they say it's a new same recipe new packaging yeah they've been packaging so this one is good for frying for baking and for high heat cooking so i am with that because that's what i usually just do if i'm not baking i am you know frying for stew and all of that stuff i don't know if it's good for deep frying but here you have to buy a lot of bottles i think canola is the best for like deep frying as well and let's buy some rolled oats <laughs> i love me oats man i love me oats i used to hate them when i was a kid because you know sometimes the way they are made is just bland but I feel like I make them interesting. I make them exciting. And thank God to the internet, I found so many ways to have oats. And I am never going back. <laughs> Next thing that we bought was some tomatoes. This is like the bulk, yeah, bulk, bulk tomatoes. I bought the ones that are not that are not ripe yet, so that they ripen here. Because I noticed that as I from the last grocery haul, because of how hot it was, all the veg was going off. I hate throwing away food. I really hate throwing away food. And because food is expensive and just not wanting to waste before we go anyway there was a pep there by the west coast village so i just decided you know let's just go in and check out stuff oh my god i saw like the cutest stuff that's in there like for the kitchen i am definitely gonna go back maybe for like a homeware haul let me know if you'd be interested in that seeing that i started doing homeware stuff as well and my spatula had broke i'll show you the broken one it's looking hella sad okay it's look i mean come on come on look at that i mean what is this we are throwing you away you've been good to me but this looks good it has like text on it but it's white it's written made with love means you lick the spoon twice yes i definitely lick the spoon as i am baking and doing all of that like that just to taste the dough or anything like that and because yeah i like things and then like a cooking spoon as well i don't know how strong it is licking the spoon everything is about licking the spoon right and they were pretty reasonably priced and i was really happy about that going back to Woolworths because i couldn't just get a bag just for the two things from here we bought some peanuts and raisins for snacking this is more my husband's vibe he got me to loving peanuts and macadamias and the whole tree nut kind of family so yeah bought some peanuts good for snacking you know sometimes those hunger those hunger pangs just like hit you in different ways so yeah just having something to snack on is good and bought some fine pink salt this is lasting me like half ish a month i don't know almost close to finishing the month because the one i have is almost like finished and then managed to buy some bicarbonate of soda my pots my stainless steel pots are having issues because i think i made popcorn not i think i made popcorn and then my pot like burnt at the bottom and everything i've been searching online is le leading up to baking soda and i've used it before for like an oven that i used to have and it worked so yeah i'm trying baking soda i'm trying baking soda and we've also bought some seeded whole wheat brown bread missed having some bread and yeah my husband loves this bread this type of bread because of the seeds the fiber is just amazing it they also taste amazing also taste amazing so yeah we bought some seeded whole wheat brown bread and the price of eggs still will give you a heart attack but we need eggs okay we need eggs bought some free range large eggs 18 eggs so yeah breakfast is gonna be lit 
boiled eggs, poached, all that good stuff. I'm just trying to make sure that I did not leave anything. Let me show you the receipts, honey. The receipts so that y'all don't think I was sponsored by Woolworths. But hey, they are welcome if they want to sponsor. But I'm just letting you know it's not. <laughs> uh, so the total for the Woolworths was 1.2. 1.241 I don't know if you can see that 1.241 that was the total for Woolworths the meat from the butchery was 273 good lord I don't know if you can see that yeah it was 273 and 24 cents and then for from pep it was 52 bucks because 39 and the other one was 20 was 20 bucks 52.98 so yeah then the grand total is like right here on the side thank you so much for watching hopefully your january is going well and you will survive these 150 days of january i'd like to thank everybody for just supporting the channel we're on the road to 2000 subscribers in a year that's crazy for me personally i appreciate each and every one of you for the love and support you showed the channel we're at 1600 subscribers and i'm so grateful please follow me on instagram and all the good stuff like comment subscribe and you know i do comment shout out on my community tab so keep on leaving those lovely comments and you'll find yourself there bye